Welcome to GE Healthcare's Low Flow Anesthesia video series. I'm Lisa Nolan. Today, many anesthesia providers are using lower fresh gas flows to help add heat and humidity to the patient breathing circuit and to reduce the environmental impact of anesthetic agent use. Unlike an ICU ventilator, the anesthesia delivery system uses a circle system, which allows the rebreathing of oxygen and anesthetic agent instead of being expelled to the atmosphere. Have you ever asked yourself, why does my set oxygen and anesthetic agent values not match my measured values? This is due to the rebreathing of recycled patient gas when using a circle breathing system and a result of the dilution effect of rebreathing. This video will discuss the dilution effect of rebreathing. Let's get started. What is the dilution effect of rebreathing? It is the result of mixing fresh gas with recycled gases when using low fresh gas flows. The ratio of fresh gas flow to the patient's minute ventilation determines the amount of rebreathing. The greater the difference between fresh gas flow and minute ventilation, the greater the difference in set versus measured concentrations of agent and oxygen. The dilution effect is increased by lower fresh gas flows and increases in the patient's minute ventilation. We can apply this concept to the different stages of an inhalational anesthetic. During induction, the anesthesia provider may employ high fresh gas flows between six and 10 liters per minute. For most patients, this high fresh gas flow may meet or exceed the patient's minute ventilation, thereby reducing or eliminating the need to rebreathe any exhaled gases. This creates a non-rebreathing system, as most of the exhaled gases are going out to scavenging and not being rebreathed by the patient. Following induction and heading to the maintenance phase, the fresh gas flows are decreased, and the amount of rebreathed gas begins to increase. The rebreathed gases contained lower agent and oxygen concentrations due to patient uptake of agent and oxygen. Since the patient's minute ventilation exceeds the set fresh gas flow, the rebreathed gases make up a larger portion of the subsequent tidal volume. The level of dilution is proportional to the ratio between fresh gas flow and the patient's minute ventilation. Greater the dilution, the greater the difference between the vaporizer setting versus the inspired agent concentration and the set oxygen percentage versus the inspired oxygen concentration. Emergence acts similarly to induction. Fresh gas flows are increased to eliminate anesthetic agent from the patient and breathing system. This causes less rebreathing due to fresh gas flows typically exceeding the patient's minute ventilation. Let's go back to the original question. Have you ever asked yourself, why do my set oxygen and anesthetic agent values not match my measured values? Most of you may answer yes, or even ask what is wrong with my oxygen and agent analyzer or vaporizer. A mathematical combination of fresh gas flow and rebreathed agent or oxygen concentrations can be used to calculate inspired agent or inspired oxygen concentrations. Here are the four parameters needed for the calculation. The fresh gas flow, the set agent concentration, the patient's minute ventilation, and the expired concentration of agent from the gas analyzer. Let's put values to these parameters. Fresh gas flow at two liters per minute, set agent concentration at 3%, patient's minute ventilation is eight liters per minute, the expired concentration of agent from the gas monitor is 1%. So, with eight liters per minute of minute ventilation, two liters per minute of fresh gas flow at 3% set agent concentration equals 60 milliliters. Six liters per minute of rebreathed gas at 1% expired agent concentration equals 60 milliliters. You add them together to get 120 milliliters of agent in 8,000 milliliters minute ventilation, which equals 0.015 or 1.5% expected inspired agent concentration. This equation can also be used when trying to determine FiO2. 
substitute the set agent concentration with the set oxygen percentage and the expired concentration of agent with the end tidal oxygen percentage. No time for math? Briefly increase the fresh gas flow to meet or exceed the patient's minute volume. The inspired concentrations should increase close to the set concentrations, which determines if the anesthetic agent and oxygen measurements are affected by dilution effect. If the set concentrations of anesthetic agent or oxygen do not increase close to the set concentrations, then there could be an issue with your gas analyzer or vaporizer. So, how do you adjust for effects from the dilution effect of rebreathing? Use a gas analyzer that measures both inspired and expired gases and anesthetic agent. Titrate oxygen and anesthetic agent concentration for a given fresh gas flow and patient minute ventilation, as this may require a higher vaporizer and oxygen setting. Understanding the dilution effect of rebreathing is as easy as that on GE Anesthesia Delivery Systems. I'm Lisa Nolan with GE Healthcare. Thank you for joining our discussion on the dilution effect of rebreathing.